Hello and welcome back. We now discuss exercise 5b question number 1. Without solving, comment upon the nature of roots of each of the following equations. So let us consider the equations one by one. And we have to predict or comment upon the nature of roots. So the first equation here is 7x square minus 9x plus 2 equal to 0. Now if we compare with the general form, so comparing with ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, we get, now if we compare the two, we have a is equal to 7, b is equal to minus 9 and c is equal to 2. So therefore, the discriminant, okay, the discriminant denoted by d is obtained as b square minus 4ac. Now let us substitute these values here. Now b square that is minus 9 square minus 4 into a into c. So this value is 81. Now 4 7 is 28 into 2 so that is 56. Now if we subtract we get the value as 25 which is greater than 0. So the value of D that is discriminant is greater than 0. So therefore we could say the roots are real and unequal. So this is the nature of roots. The roots are real and unequal. Now let us go for the second equation. Now the second equation here is 6x square minus 13x plus 4 equal to 0. So let us do the second one. 6x square minus 13x plus 4 is equal to 0. Again, comparing it with the general form. So, comparing with ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, we get uh, the value for a is 6. The value for B is minus 13 and C is equal to 4. So therefore the discriminant D, okay, now I am directly writing D. So D is the discriminant is given by B square minus 4AC. So that would be minus 13 square minus 4 into A into C. Now minus 13 square is 169 and 4, 6 are that's 24, 24 into 4 that would be 96. So if we subtract we get the answer as 73 which is again greater than 0. It's a positive value. So therefore we could say the roots are real and unequal. So this is question number two. Now let us discuss question number three. Let's go for the third one. Now the third equation is, <coughs> let's check the equation, 25x square minus 10x plus 1 equals 0. Okay, so the third equation is 25x square minus 10x plus 1 minus 10x plus 1 equal to 0. Again, 
we compare it with the general form so comparing with a x square plus b x plus c equal to 0 we get the value for a as 25 b is minus 10 and c is equal to 1 so therefore the discriminant d that is b square minus 4ac this value would be minus 10 square minus 4 into a is 25 c is 1 so this is 100 minus now 4 into 25 that's 100 into 1 so that is 100 so we get the value of d equal to 0 now if the discriminant value is 0 okay therefore we say the roots are the roots are real but they are equal so the roots are real and equal so this is question number 3 sorry yeah question number 3 let's go to question number 4 the fourth equation fourth equation is x square plus 2 root 3x minus 9 equals 0 okay so next one is x square plus 2 root 3x minus 9 is equal to 0 so again we compare this with the general form so we have comparing with ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 we obtain now a is equal to 1 the value for b is 2 root 3 and c is equal to minus 9 so therefore the discriminant d that is b square minus 4 ac so if we just substitute we have 2 root 3 square minus 4 into a into c c is minus 9 so 2 square is 4 root 3 square is 3 so 4 3 is that is 12 now 4 1 is 4 9 is that's minus 36 and you have a negative here so this becomes positive 36 so if we add the 2 we get a total of 48 which is a positive value that is greater than 0 so therefore we say nature of roots will be the roots are the roots are real but they are unequal so the roots are real and unequal so this is question number four let's go to question number five now equation five is let's see x square minus ax minus b square okay so we have x square minus of ax minus b square is equal to 0 now again we compare it with the general form so comparing with ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 we get if we compare we have a as 1 the value of b as minus a and c is minus b square so therefore d that is the discriminant will be b square minus 4ac let us substitute so b square that is minus a square minus 4 into a is 1 and c is minus b square if we simplify this we get a square and this negative into negative becomes positive so 4b square now a square and b square square cannot be 
negative, right? So a square plus 4b square, the total will always be positive, right? So this will be greater than 0. So therefore, we say the roots are real and they are unequal, right? So a square and b square, these values cannot be negative. So obviously a square plus 4b square, this won't be negative. So it is always greater than 0. So the roots are real and unequal. Now let us see question number 6. Question 6 or equation 6 is 2x square plus 8x plus 9 equals 0. Okay, so the last one is 2x square plus 8x plus 9 is equal to 0. So again, here we compare with the general form. So comparing with ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, we get, now if we compare, we have a is equal to 2, the value for a is 2, the value for b is 8, and c is equal to 9. So therefore d, d that is the discriminant b square minus 4ac, this would be 8 square minus 4 times 2 into 9. Now <coughs> 8 square, 8 square is 64, 4 to the 8, 8 9 the is 72. Now if we subtract we get negative value, right? Minus 8, which is less than 0. So, if the discriminant is less than 0, so we say the roots are not real. That is, the roots are what? Imaginary. So, remember when discriminant value is a negative value, then we say the roots are imaginary or they are not real. 